Okay, next. Uh, Ron McWhorter, 3641. Only a moron would buy anywhere in Portland, period. Place needs to be demolished and discarded. That's not very nice. It's pretty baffling how much hate there is out there for Portland, Oregon. I never really understood it until we started making these videos. I don't understand why so many people are motivated just to completely bash Portland all the time, but in this video, we're going to do a mean tweets version of living in Oregon, and all that starts now. Hey, what's up everybody? This is Paul Clem with the Oregon Relocation Team coming to you from Portland, Oregon. So we're gonna do something a little bit different in this video. Maybe have a little fun with some of the commentary we get on our channel. We've made, I think like a couple hundred videos now about what it's like to live in Portland in the Portland metro area. We try to make helpful, useful content for people who are considering relocating to the area because you know it's, it's a lot of work relocating from out of state where maybe you don't know a ton about a specific area and, and doing a lot of that research from a distance can make it difficult to really get a full scope on what the city offers, what it's going to be like living here, what areas are going to suit your needs, etc. So that's our goal. And if you've been to our channel, you know that we like to get out and about. Stay tuned to learn more. Stay tuned to learn more. Stay tuned to learn more. All that starts now. And film different areas. And again, really show you what these places look like and give you our insight as to the pros and cons and kind of the good, the bad, the ugly, and everything in between about living in specific areas throughout Portland and the metro area. Area. But since making this channel, it's been really kind of amazing how many people want to chime in with just the most ridiculous commentary about what Portland's like, what their opinion of Portland is. I mean, of course, we welcome any and all conversation and we want people to debate. And there's been a lot of really good debate in our in the comments of a lot of our videos. So that's for sure something that we welcome. We want people to get the whole perspective, you know, the big picture. We don't wanna sugarcoat anything, although of course, as licensed real estate professionals, our primary objective is to assist people who are relocating to the area and help them buy a home. So of course, you know, the purpose of making a real good clickbaity headline for our channel is, of course, you know, we want to entertain to some degree, but of course we want you to know who we are as real estate professionals. So if, if you are considering moving to the Portland metro area, you might reach out to us and we can talk about your move and maybe we can work together. But I thought it would be fun to do a version of Mean Tweets for the Living in Oregon channel. If you've ever seen Mean Tweets, I think it was on Jimmy Kimmel, celebrities read mean tweets that people say about them. We're going to go through some of the most ridiculous comments that we've gotten. And honestly, there's dozens and dozens and dozens of these comments. So I just went back like the last Last, I don't know, three, four, five months. Now, if this is your first time to the channel or you've been here and you haven't already and you wanna get more videos like this, make sure to hit the subscribe button and tap a little bell to get notified every time we drop a new video. All right, here's the first one. So this was in a response to a video, I think it was something like best neighborhoods or best suburbs to raise a family. How about nowhere? You're a fool if you move to Portland with a family or stay there. Failing, collapsing, disgusting, unsafe city. That's uh, Sorat Beats said that 11 months ago. Thanks, Sorat Beats. All right, starting off with a bang with some real constructive commentary there. Onion underscore Peeler says, number one most mentally ill city in the country. All right, I just pulled up an article. The first thing that came up was from medicaleconomics.com. Uh, number one is actually Detroit, Michigan, then Memphis, then Cleveland, then Oklahoma City, then Jacksonville, then Louisville, then Birmingham, Alabama, Kansas City, Indianapolis, Philadelphia. Anyway, I don't see Portland on here. So again, I don't know if this is a per capita basis or if this person was just uh, trying to be funny. All right, next we got Cody Atkinson, just two days ago said, I, I, I loved off, I, I assume he meant lived off, I, I lived off 115th for a few years before I left the crap hole called Oregon. All right, here's another one from uh, Thomas I'm Curious, just five days ago. So why isn't there a map of Portland telling where to go and where to stay away from? Not a politically correct map. I mean, something that is actually a real factual resource so that people can visit and go back home in one piece. If you're going to allow weak, woke idiots to be in charge and allow socialism to be a reason to let things go downhill just because you have bad judgment, or maybe you were stoned. All right, thanks for that comment, Thomas. Um, yeah, there's a lot there. Uh, I think on OregonLive.com and maybe through the Portland Police Bureau as well, there's a map that you can look at uh, for murders and I believe violent crime. So 
I don't look at that very often, but you can actually see where there's more incidents of violent crime and uh, murder and shootings and things like that. So there are maps out there where you can, uh, you know, kind of see where maybe there is more violent crime going on. Uh, but obviously there's a lot of points woven into this comment uh, about, uh, you know, I assume the politics of the city government, for example, which is really kind of a common thread here. So I'm not going to say that there aren't issues. I'm not going to say that I agree with everything or most things, even to some degree, you know, that the city council is trying to do. But it is possible at least, you know, to live in Portland, to live in the Portland metro area and, and have... Uh, views on things, maybe political beliefs, whatever it may be, that deviate from the norm or that aren't necessarily like what the majority thinks or feels, uh, and, and you'll be okay. I think you can still like uh, get out and enjoy your life and you don't have to worry about, uh, like this person said, visiting Portland and having to worry about coming back in one piece. All right, just going down the line here, who would want to live in that hellhole? I don't know. Uh, I mean, a lot of people were born here, obviously, and people usually stick around the place they were born. A lot of people move here for the outdoors, the nature, the arts, the culture, you know, the weather, you know, very mild climate. We get all four seasons. I don't know. I mean, a lot of people move here for jobs, you know, work opportunity. Maybe they get relocated here uh, or maybe they were trying to find a job here specifically. I mean, you know, there's a lot of reasons why somebody would want to live in Portland. So. Uh, Wilcox 4561, it really just depends. All right, here's another one from Evergreenification two weeks ago. It's not just the taxes in Multnomah, Multnomah being Multnomah County, the county where Portland is. Portland metro area is really a tri-county area with Clark County to the north being the fourth county, uh, makes up a sizable piece of the population. But at, at any rate, uh, it's not just the taxes in Multnomah, which is egregious enough, it's the audacity of that much paperwork. The arts tax, for example, very cynically is set out multiple times per year. I think I probably lost track and I paid it multiple times per year before I caught on to its games. Uh, that's miserable just by itself. Okay, there's a little bit of user error here. I'm not trying to say this person isn't making a fair point though. Uh, then you have all the new taxes on higher income earners. Last year, uh, last couple years, I did my taxes. I had multiple confusing piles of papers and checks and a file folder with photocopies of check stubs so I could absolutely in any case prove I'd already paid because I saw the cynical trend with the arts tax. It's just an incredible headache even before we begin to discuss the outrageous waste in how it gets spent. I moved away. Good luck, everyone. Okay, obviously this person is making a more thoughtful comment and I mean, no place is going to be perfect for sure. So I'm, I don't wanna discredit what this person said. Just kind of showing a range of some of the commentary we get. I mean, it's not all rosy for sure. That's part of why I wanna make this video is, you know, hey, it's, you know, we're not, we don't put out this content to say this is the best place in the world to live. You absolutely have to move here, but a lot of people, are moving here, you know, whether again, they got relocated for work, you know, or they chose to, to move here. And for the people that are considering moving here, you know, we wanna help in any way that we can. So yeah, there are definitely some fair points that get made. I think there's at least a couple more that I pulled, um, you know, that are legitimate gripes. And there are people out there making thoughtful comments and, you know, whether you agree with the taxes and how the money is spent, that's one thing. Obviously there's people that do have issues with that. All right, next, Tonio5820 said, the Democrats who live there are unwelcoming. They've gone from just weird to crazy and violent. Not fun anymore. Okay, again, I, I tried to keep this, you know, as least political as, as possible. Um, obviously, this is calling out a specific uh, political party, which I think, you know, the majority of people in Portland and the metro area tend to be a part of. Um, so, you know, all that held aside, you know, this saying, the Democrats who live there are unwelcoming. They've gone from just weird to crazy and violent. I don't really know exactly what that's referring to, but um, I can assure you that the majority of people uh, in the Portland metro area aren't crazy and violent. All right, here's another one maybe to provide a little balance. Uh, this is Otadashi1570. Thanks for the pro-Portland propaganda. 
Let's start with the number of large corporations that have closed at least two or more stores in Portland. Target, Walmart, Starbucks, Cracker Barrel, REI, and Nike, to name a few. The, uh, many were scared to say the real reason they closed down, but it is well known that crime, drug use, and the safety of their employees were the true reasons. Portland ranks sixth on the list of sh uh, shrinking large cities in the USA. 8,000 people fled the city. Uh, in the latest census, so good luck finding a U-Haul truck in Portland. After years of legalizing every known drug, the city reversed itself and will now make it a Class C misdemeanor to possess and consume legal drugs in 2024. Class C misdemeanors are like parking tickets, and it is what they hand out to drug violators. I think that fewer, that one, fewer than 1% 1 of those getting these tickets actually pay or even address them as they are more likely to end up as toilet paper in the homeless encampments. So yeah. Great place to live. Oregonians should be very proud. All right. <clears throat> okay. So, is there some truth embedded there? Is there some embellishment there? I mean, yes and yes, for sure. We're not trying to hide that there's issues. And I did want to pull in some more thoughtful comments and gripes that people have. A lot of people feel this way to some degree. Some people might express it differently, but a lot of people have this sentiment and perspective, uh, you know, similar to what. Otadashi1570 said. All right, liberal woke community, weird sex addicts everywhere, almost no police. If there are, they don't do their job at all. Drunk drivers everywhere, businesses getting robbed, homeless people on drugs attacking random people. I almost got attacked the other day. This place isn't safe and it's not a good city at all. Worth nothing. Uh, this is a Lucid James official, um, co comes in hot with a lot of comments like this. So, you know, I, I don't want to pick apart every uh, comment here, but weird sex addicts everywhere, drunk drivers everywhere. Um, you're going to get attacked all the time. I, I, I don't know. I mean, I don't know exactly what a lot of this is referring to. Again, I mean, there's kind of truth in everything to some degree. There's a reason why somebody would say something or even be motivated to come to our channel and, and you know give give this type of opinion uh, but I thought that one was pretty funny all right be, all right because we typically don't like to talk about politics somebody quoted I believe a video from Seth that said I don't like to talk about politics I like to be positive etc uh, and this person then said you liberal worm this is y'all's fault all right moving right along here drug infested downtown with few police to protect families Bet the real estate guy about the horrendous homeless problem. Riots every week and police were defunded. Crime is not low. Great city if you're a drug addict. Beware. Double exclamation. That's from John Sanchez, 2256. Okay. I think that for a long time, decades maybe, there's been a reputation of, you know, police issues basically, you know, response time and, you know, how things are addressed. So it's not just dating back to recent history in the last four or five years. There's a couple things obviously here, riots every week. I mean, they went on for like three months, 100 days in 2020. That's four years ago now though. So, you know, this person said this three months ago, but this, you know, that was, you know, three and a half, four years ago that that was happening and it hasn't happened and it's not happening since then. So yeah, I think people have to let go a little bit. Um, homeless problem, yes. I mean, obviously we, we have an issue with homelessness. I don't have the answer. Um, few police to protect families. I mean, yeah, the police department is understaffed. Um, that's not going to be the case in the surrounding suburbs, at least for the most part. So there are definitely some differences there, but I mean, is it like there's no police anywhere ever? I mean, no, like there, you know, Portland has a, a police department. So, all right, this one was pretty interesting. This is from Carrie Haynes, 5158. What an awful skewed propaganda video you've created. Your carefully choreographed walk along Waterfront Park, just recently cleaned up of the drug addicts and street camping, carefully avoided those issues. I'm a Jefferson High grad, a recent, uh, recently retired uh, realtor. I know Portland. The serene and casual walk did not portray the many closed and boarded up businesses. The aggressive panhandlers, open air drug use, the trash and graffiti that covers every building, parking structures, overpass, underpass, and sides of the streets. You did not, uh, and you did not mention the crime that has exploded. Everything from car vandalism to murder. Shame on you. Okay, this is somebody who looks like they were born and raised in Portland. Uh, they were a real estate professional, recently retired. So, I mean, I'm going to respect this person's opinion. 
you know, in their perspective, even if I don't agree with it or it's not the same perspective I have. Uh, I mean, this isn't somebody that, you know, lives in another part of the country that's just coming here to, you know, say something negative about Portland. Um, yeah, I mean, you know, again, there's kind of truth to everything. I think one thing I would mention, well, actually a couple things to mention here. So we actually get a lot of comments about, you know, hey, you very carefully omitted you know, this or that, or, you know, why don't you show this? Why don't you show the tents? It's like, okay, first and foremost, we're not setting out to show, you know, s solely the, the, the bad stuff about, you know, Portland in particular in the city and, you know, near the city center. So, you know, the graffiti and the trash and the homelessness, that is for sure there. It, you know, there's a lot of content out there that will show you that if that's what you want to see. We're also not omitting it purposely, so we're not going out, you know, to capture that purposely, but we're also not avoiding specific areas. Look, we're busy real estate professionals, so if we're gonna make a video and we're gonna put this out and we gotta do it and we're on a schedule, you like, you know, so in this video that was referenced, Seth went to a park, held his GoPro, made the video, you know, I, I've gone downtown, walked around, made videos, and I'm not trying to avoid anything. I'm also not looking for anything specific. It's just like, hey, this is what it looks like. If you're going to go into the city, you know, this is about what you're going to see. And is, is this the only portrayal of what it is? No. Uh, but I assure you, we're not purposely, uh, purposefully omitting anything. In fact, if we really leaned more into the negative stuff and showed a lot more of the negative stuff, we would probably get more views. We'd probably get more attention, but that's not our intention. Also, crime has exploded. That was the case around the country. Crime had gone up, you know, 2020, 2021. There's a lot of reasons for that. There's no reason to talk about why here in this video. Uh, Portland was for sure no exception, and I think the you know crime rate probably went up more than it did in other parts of the country, but across the country too, crime has come down a little bit. That has been the case in Portland. There's a ton of issues um, for sure, but you know, if, if crime explodes, you know, in a specific area, it's like, okay, that's going to get addressed some way, somehow, you know, things don't stay the same forever, forever, you know, whether they continue to get worse or if they improve, you have to believe, you have to have some optimism. I think that, you know, there are people working on these issues. Um, there's enough people who live here that, you know, won't let the city just go into complete ruin. Uh, and so at least that's a perspective that I like to have. All right, let's get through a few more of these and I'll spare you uh, the extra commentary. All right, if you want to analyze the streets of Portland, if you get your rocks off on it, then by all means, handle your business. But how can you sit right with knowing Mayor Wheeler devalued your quality of life? His policies reduced the downtown core. M maybe they did, maybe they didn't. This person's trying to make a legitimate point. Has my quality of life been devalued? I, I can't necessarily say that. I don't know a lot of people who are saying that and talking about that. If that were truly the case, that would be a much bigger topic of conversation on a regular basis. All right, next. I've lived here for over 20 years, just put my house in the market last month and moved to rural Southern Oregon to a tiny town of 1200 people. I could not be happier to get away from the constant and growing crime, the filth, and just the general insanity. It is as terrible as the media around the world make it out to be. I am not really sure Portland deserves any more to even be considered part of Oregon. It is certainly, it, it certainly is not culturally. So there's some truth there and I, I pulled this out to maybe kind of highlight that is you hear about Texas where you have like the blueberry uh, in the tomato soup. Portland or at least the Willamette Valley, Western Oregon is like that to some degree where a lot of Oregon is very rural, um, definitely going to you know lean uh, more kind of in the opposite direction politically, culturally than Portland, Salem, Eugene, where the majority of the population is. You probably get that element everywhere in every state uh, to some degree, uh, but that is definitely something that you know over my lifetime you've kind of heard about is that you know the the, the policies and things that happen in Salem you know, maybe to serve the population, you know, in Portland and where most people are, say like in Western Oregon, does not serve the people in Eastern Oregon or uh, Central Oregon or Southern Oregon where you have more rural communities um, and, you know, by and large a different way of life. But again, it, that's going to be the case in a lot of different places. But this person, you know, what, what they're saying is certainly something that you hear a lot. All right, Elliot Mann, 9787 says, so there are still people moving to Portland? Crazy. Yeah, people are still moving here. 
All right, O3 Pack four months ago said, there's no saving it. Lived here my whole life, and the progressives who think they know everything have destroyed the city. They're entitled and think the world surrounds them. I have no pity for the people of Portland. Moving to Vancouver as soon as I get a chance. Vancouver, just 10 miles up the street. All right, James G1126 says, LOL, Portland sucks big time. All right, Fact Finder 4839 says, I can't think of a worse place to buy property than Portland, Oregon. The place is overrun with druggies, thieves, and zombies. So, I haven't seen any zombies. Um, you know, people talk about zombie apocalypse and, you know, some people prep for things like that, but I haven't seen uh, any zombies yet. You know, drugs, theft, you know, there's some issues there for sure, but, uh, you know, the, the fact that this person can't, this per person called Fact Finder can't think of a worse place to buy property than Portland, Oregon, could probably think of some worse places. All right, Mick Sagik one said, ironically, those who live there are the worst people to judge because they would never want to admit they live in a cesspool of leftism, drugs, and ridiculousness. So again, I'm not pulling this because of the political reference. A lot of the comments do reference the politics of Portland and the people who live in the area. Um, but I think this is kind of a fair point uh, for, for sure. So again, obviously we have a bias, you know, and we don't want to make Portland sound so bad that people don't want to move here because we make a living helping people buy homes in Portland. That's our job. That's why we make this content, like I talked about. But yeah, I mean, I, I think it's hard to have a full perspective, um, you know, at least outside looking in when you're in it all the time. And of course, people are going to justify, you know, things that happen to make you know, where they live, where they spend their time, maybe seem less, you know, worse or, you know, seem, uh, you know, not as bad as it is. So, yeah, I mean, there's probably some, some truth to this. Thanks. Thanks, Mick Sigeek. All right, FPM8338. We get a lot of comments like this. Who's seriously thinking about moving to Portland? Triple cry laugh emoji. All right, Leviathan71889. Rule number one, don't live in Portland. What a hole. All right, Lucid James Official is back and says, it is the worst city in Oregon. What a disgrace. City government doesn't do anything. Terrible, liberal, annoying people. The hood and the mob took over and commit crimes. Business is shutting down everywhere. It's madness. So I'm not putting this one in because there's a reference to political leanings, but um, the hood and the mob took over. I just, you know, if somebody reading the comments reads that, I personally don't know what that's in reference to. All right, here's a fun one. And this was kind of to show maybe the opposite. So there was a lot of people making comments like saying that Portland was too left-leaning and too liberal and, you know, stuff like that. Um, and I don't want to paint people who maybe are like on one political end of the spectrum as kind of crazy and making, you know, these these comments that are ridiculous. Um, you know, so this one was a good one to maybe kind of balance things out. So I live in Beaverton and I protest against Republican scum every day. If you are a Republican, you are not welcome here. Good chance I will track you down and protest in front of your house. Never forget, never again. Um, okay, so I think the perspective of some people about Portland is that this is super common and that you see stuff like this all the time and that, you know, if you are of a political leaning, you know, in Portland that is me that deviates from kind of where most people in the Portland metro metro area are that, you know, you'll get harassed all the time for expressing your opinion. And um, I've, I've never seen anything like what this person is, you know, claiming that that they would do. And I got a kick out of that one. All right, Dinaz41 says, buying real estate in Portland today is like buying real estate in Detroit in 1968. I assume that's saying that, um, you know, Portland is kind of at the peak of what it will be and that uh, real estate values are going to plummet here. Um, uh, I, don't, I don't know, we don't have an industry in Portland like Detroit did in 1968 where that type of effect could happen. I mean, there's a lot of money getting injected uh, to Intel right now. We have some really big employers. I mean, actually, the, the economy in Portland, as far as the job opportunities and big major employers here, um, is, is pretty good. Uh, so a lot of people do move to Portland for, uh, you know, job opportunities. It's the most affordable city on the West Coast. So I don't know exactly what this person is getting at, but 
Uh, kind of a goofy comment. All right, CWNANWN6723 says, it is not a livable place, sure. If you had millions of dollars and stick to your neighborhood, but actually walking the streets when normal people would be, it is terrifying. Anyone that says different, they run into Portland, film the safest places they could find, and flee back to their multi-million dollar homes before dusk. I was, it was not, I was not always like this. Uh, I think it was meant, I, it was not always like this. Maybe C1 and WN, you weren't always like this either, but gosh, it's not a livable place. I mean, there's a lot of people who live here, you know, that have lives that they enjoy. Uh, you know, to say it's not livable is kind of ridiculous. Um, also, if you have millions of dollars, you know, maybe they're claiming that we go out and film like the safest areas and then go back to our multi-million dollar homes. Like I don't have millions of dollars. I don't have a multi-million dollar home. So this one is obviously very exaggerated. All right, just a couple more here. Uh, Han Solo eight months ago said, as long as feeling unsafe and being surrounded by homeless people, openly doing drugs and the stench of piss everywhere doesn't bother you, you'll love Portland. All right, Tristan. All right, Tristan7216 said, if you're thinking of moving to Portland in 2023, I'm sorry for the circumstances that brought you to this place in your life. Just five years ago, it used to be such a nice place to visit. Not anymore, apparently. Okay, next. Uh, Ron McWhorter, 3641, only a moron would buy anywhere in Portland, period. Place needs to be demolished and discarded. That's not very nice. All right. Uh, also, Ron McWhorter, this one was kind of funny. This was in a response in response to a video that said, is Portland safe? Question mark. You know, we love our clickbait, obviously. Um, somebody said, uh, Ron said, do alligators have teeth? Question mark. Which the answer to that is, is yes, right? So is Portland safe? Yes. I, but I, anyway, I don't think that was the point he was trying to make, but he said, do alligators have teeth? Only way I would go there is if I was carrying heavy heat. Watch out for Ron McWhorter. All right, so I probably ended up giving a little more rebuttal than anticipated reading these. Um, you, you know, to some degree, these are points that people are bringing up to us and there are legitimate concerns that people have. But we see some pretty funny stuff out there. I wanted to do something a little more lighthearted. Um, it is interesting to know what the public sentiment of Portland is. I don't think this is completely representative of that. There's a ton of positive commentary too that people have in the comments of our videos. So this is just one perspective, but it's a very loud perspective and it feels like the prevailing perspective. And I think some people are hesitant moving to Portland because of the reputation that Portland has. I think people who live in Portland, especially people who've you know, been born and raised in Portland, lived here their whole lives like myself, are very aware that this reputation is out there. And again, there's truth to everything to some degree, but of course this is very overblown. And Portland has been the poster child of a U.S. city gone wrong, and people like to bash on Portland. And anyway, uh, some funny stuff in here that we'd share. If you are thinking about moving to Portland, and if you want to talk more about what living in Portland is actually like, give us a call, send us a text, shoot us an email, click the link down below in the description of the video, schedule a Zoom call with us, and we can talk about your move. Now, if this video is helpful, or if you found it funny or amusing, give us a thumbs up. That helps us out a lot. If you want to get more videos like this, make sure to hit the subscribe button, tap the little bell to get notified every time we drop a new video. As always, we really appreciate you watching, and until next time, we'll talk to you later.